past life regression as the name itself indicates and we speak about regression which means going back going back in time we can call it even time traveling going in some another lifetime that we have lived when people come to us uh, there are two reasons some people really want to experience that beautiful spiritual aspect of life where as a soul we have been to so many different lifetimes have lived so many different experiences have lived our life with the same people which are with us in this lifetime and the different dynamics different relationships that we have lived and when after the death your soul connects to the light that's the most beautiful spiritual experience you can ever have because no matter what you feel in your current reality but when you are connected to the light of your higher self and that light which is filled only with the molecule of love when that light envelops your soul it instantly heals your soul's energy suddenly all your pain grief sorrow complaints regrets everything melts and it disappears so many times when you want to just experience it and you just be in that light it's such a powerful experience it triggers those memories and our belief something which we say that i really can't describe it in the words it's beyond words it's something mind boggling i i just don't know what that experience feels like so that's one reason i very strongly recommend people and i have been to that experience it's amazing lot of my clients have been to that experience another reason when normally people come to us for past life regression is completely different reason and where we are recommending you to go into another past life as a therapeutic modality so using past life regression as a therapeutic modality is a very different concept and why would somebody regress in a past when i just believe in my present and i am interested in my future past has already happened and i i really don't care what happened in the past but the thing is that your past is programming your present and your future what happens is in a day whatever food you eat your body knows exactly how to take in the minerals nutrition and your body takes whatever is needed and whatever is not needed your body has the intelligence to throw it out of your system and through your perspiration your urination your stool you will throw out imagine one day where you will stop passing urine you will stop passing stool you will not perspire and you just hold on to whatever food you have eaten you just go on giving more and more food to yourself and you stop releasing what will happen will that food nourish you no it will become very toxic the toxicity is much higher than the nourishment level that you are getting right so whatever is the importance of feeding your body with the right kind of food you know it very well that the equally or maybe more important is to throw out the toxicity and what is not needed it is a balanced approach the similar way if you think that in a day how many thoughts do you have have you ever counted how many times you think in a day and with each thought the different emotions that you experience have you ever put a count to that today i experienced so many of different feelings and this many times i experienced it the way in which you can measure your food 
can you measure the quantity of the emotions that you want to put into yourself that i require the equilibrium of this much of happiness i will consume this much of anger i will throw out and i would avoid the hatred from my diet and i want i'm on a complete strict diet of no jealousy no hatred no anger have you ever planned a diet like that and are you in control of that diet you are not so where does that excess of the emotions food that you are feeding in your body going out you know it very well that if body doesn't have a system to throw it out it can't sustain right and any imbalance can create problems ideally we do have a system because god is very intelligent and it has prepared the human body perfectly fine so through our dream cycle we throw out the excess of the emotions which is not serving our body from the time you go to sleep and from the time you wake up if for example it is a 6 hour sleep or a 9 hour sleep we split it into three parts and the first one third we call them processing dreams so where the control is going from your conscious to subconscious it's updating the file the second one third part we call as predictive dreams your subconscious based on your experiences will show you what's going to happen in your future and the last one third part which is called the venting dreams you release the toxicity of emotions whatever is in excess you throw it out now many times we have stored knowingly or unknowingly certain emotions which are in excess or we lack certain emotions you may feel the emotion of love is less and emotion of anger is more then you have the equivalent chemicals in the body which is creating the imbalance in your cell so that is the time is there any other way where i can throw out this toxicity so past life regression is one of a very strongly recommended modality for that because it is simply a therapy so when you regress what you create irrespective of whether you actually have been through that past life or not your mind is creating that reality and your mind cannot imagine anything your mind has never seen before if i ask you to imagine color green maybe you can but if i ask you to imagine color blah blah you can't so whatever you imagine during the session is something which is very relevant to you and even if it is a story you have read or a tv show you have seen a part of it is connected to you and through that story you are allowing yourself with the assistance or the help of the therapist to release the emotional toxicity and the result is the balanced life and that's why many times past life regression therapy is strongly recommended for all of you